YouTube Wagwan. All right, so this video is um is pretty much um showing you the Unison MIDI card pack because I got a question from I'm not sure if it's a subscriber or someone that probably just watched the video, um, but they said they wanted to know um how I know is um it's a reggae chord, um so I got. This Unison MIDI card pack like a long time ago. I'm not even sure where I bought it from or if I downloaded it off Reddit. I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you how I I got it. Um, so I didn't do it like this. This is how I got it. So I have it on a, um, I have it on an external hard drive. Let me see if I can get to it. So I have it on an external hard drive where I go to drum kits right here and then it's in it's on a on an external hard drive and it comes with um ambient and down tempo big room progressive house classical disco all this right here hip hop and uh, and rap house and deep house jazz and then right down here it says reggae so I normally just go to the reggae MIDI and then I would choose um a chord progression from um let's say if I choose um C major. So you know what? Let's just cook up a beat right now. Let's just make a beat. So I would go here and I'll get the chord chord progression for C major. And then I would drag it across here and just drop it in and then it will create um the Steinway grand piano all right um so we're just using the example and just try to make a beat all right so all right so let's go so now we have the the chords from unison chord pack um let me see if i can all right let's go some more um so this is what we have. So that really don't sound too good. So you know what? Let's go back out and let's find something else because I don't like that at all. So let's go to the unison chord pack. Right here. Go back to the reggae. I wanted it to be a short video, but hey, you know what? Let's just make a beat. So we we'll got C major, the chords, chord progression, and then we're going to try and find one that we like, all right? So it might not be a short video after all. All right, so let's load up this. Let's hear this. Hopefully it's not too loud. All right, we can work with that. Let's work with that. Um, let's lower this down to like about 100 BPM. Right? And then we'll go Windows here, and then we'll open up Piano Roll. Because now we want to try... Let me see. Kind of sound all right already still. Yeah, it's sound all right already. Just need for, um, let me open that back up again. Right here. What I normally do now is, um, make sure you guys can see the chords. See? Same chords. Let me see. Normally now, I'd highlight all of them. And then just make it down, make it sound like a bit softer. Yeah, just like that. So we're, we're going to use this for example. All right? All right, so copy, copy that over. And then we join it. So what I just did a while ago, you have your whole, if you have a Mac, you hold Option. And then you click the, the um, what do you call it? You click that part and then you drag it over with Option. So you, you click Option. 
and then drag it over and it will it will make another copy and then after that now what I did was I press um, command and J to join it so you have to click you have to press shift and click and make sure the two pattern click together and then you press command and J kind of sound confusing but let me do it again and show you guys all right slowly it's like a beginner thing right so you click it press option option and then you, you click it highlight it and then drag it over and that's how you get another copy of it then after that now you press shift and make sure you click this other one right and then you press command j those are the shortcut and then join there you go so now you have um now you have two of them joined together and now we're, we're pattern can go straight to, to the um the fifth uh what you call it fifth bar all right so now we get this so remember when i make a simple beat in a car it was just an example to show you how the the unison midi card pack gonna come all right so after that now i'm going to draw for i'm going to make another track uh software instrument create and then i'm going to create um arcade so once arcade load up now now i know that is c major i want to keep it at c major and then I'm going to go into hooked. So I'm going to hooked right here. And I'm just going to choose, we're just going to choose one just to, just for um for time's sake, you know? All right, let's. Don't out hear me because you feel no, oh, I can't, oh, coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me hear it. I can't. Ooh. All right, I think I like that one. Let me see if I can find it here. I click. Uh, so yeah, let me click here. Boom. I add a track. Change the track. Open it with piano roll. And then um, let me see if I can bring this over so you guys can see. So it's in piano roll right now. I get the pencil tool, and then I look for that. Cause, cause, yeah, no, oh, oh. I think I like that instead. Cause you, yeah, no, oh. All right, so let's draw that in. Oh. So remember, oh. it's just it's just for um the beat sake and time. All right, let me turn that down, and then we get this. Oh. Actually, let's make that longer. Open piano roll. We're gonna make that longer. Sorry, I'm talking too much, but I try to show you certain things. Let's use a different thing. Oh, yeah, I like that one instead. No, no, no. no. All right, let's go with that. So now that we have that, normally I put uh, EQ on it, so because we're making a beat, so let's let's do the EQ right away. Boom! Take out um, the low. We take out the high. And you know what? Let me let me do the the video this video too, where I, 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 I either a subscriber or another viewer. Um, told me that I could use something called um, Vintage Console EQ in Logic. So let me see. All right, so Vintage, go Stereo, let's say, and then go to Far, Far Away, Far Away. And then I could turn down the output right here. And I could use all these. I'm still trying to learn it because um, the viewer told me I could use it. So I'm going to try it. I forgot the name or so I'd shout them out on the channel, but um yeah, um you know who you are. Big big up yourself. Thank you. Alright, so 
With that now, I could use that EQ instead. And then with that, I'll just probably just add um, a reverb. a little bit yeah so right then and there now you have the chord you have the the, the vox sound all you need now is drums right so what i do i call it cheating or whatever you call it i import one of my projects that i did before so let's go with like a beat called um let's pick up pick one um This one, let's pick this beat, right? And see what we want from it. What we're gonna take from it. We're gonna take the kick. We're gonna take the snare, the crash, probably. Yeah, the crash. Uh, we're gonna take the, there's another snare. So let's take that and the bass line. And that's it, the beat gonna be finished after that. So let's add that. Right there. And yeah, that's that's the beat right there because it already arranged how you wanted it before. So we we'll just drag, remember, highlight it, use option, uh, click, and then drag, and then drag. And then that's how you copy. And then you can, you can highlight all of it there. Press Command C if you're on a Mac. And then go to the end of it and then press command V. And then you can copy the rest of it over just like that. There you go. And then the beat is done. That's how you can make a beat right, right there just by using unison uh, MIDI chord pack. Um, if it was boring, put some comments down below. Um, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, let me just play from from right here. Yeah, let me just play it to right there. But yeah, that's how that's how you can make the beat. Um, the bass line though, you have to change up the bass line. So, what I would do is go here and make sure all the bass line. Let's drag this over. Make sure all the bass line is in. Um, it has to be in C. So you have to bring it down to C. Is that C? Yeah, bring it down to C. This could go up to C. And then make sure you bring down this to C. Up to C. There you go. Yeah, and it fixed right there, so. And then you take that out. Um, yeah, again, press that. Highlight it, option, copy, over, option, bring, drag it over, option, or highlight it, press command C, and then you can press command V, and then you can copy it over just like that. All right? And there you go. That's the beat right there. So I'm going to play some of it. Um, remember, it's no mixer or nothing like that, so nobody expect it to be mixed or anything like that, but it's just a rough draft how you can use mini, um, Unison MIDI Chord Pack. And I'm going to try and put the link below where you can download it for free. All right? So let's go. So it might sound kind of weird or whatever still, but you don't know, I've put some more work into it and everything like that. But it's just the idea that you can use Unison MIDI chord pack and you can get the chords. 
And you can make endless beats. All beats where you want to make, all right? So, like and subscribe. And again, put some comments below if you like the video or not. Or you can give me some pointers. And then, you know, we'll go from there, all right? So, like and subscribe. So, till the next video, I'm out.